for the first time in um, our history, political history, you can see that the sort of uh, tension we have in town at the moment towards an election is very, very, very frightening. Now, my main worry is that the electoral commissioner um, is not doing what she's expected to do. And uh, that is the main problem that is facing the nation. Now, we have a whole lot of electoral fraud. People have been seen buying votes openly in public. People have been seen giving out paper bags containing whatever only God knows. They have even been frightening pictures, not pictures, videos, of already some printed ballot papers that have been put into a huge bag. And you see the police, the street officers struggling with the chairman, Rigna chairman of NPP. I mean, these are serious infractions. And if we sit down on concern, especially the churches who have always been preaching when it is late, the churches, the National House of Chiefs, and all the other institutions that I will say the public looks up to are sitting there on concern. All concerned. Now, this country is working towards a disaster. I can see that clearly. And the disaster will come just like that if we continue on what we have, is happening now. Mm. Now, the, the most... I think th this can only be understood by somebody who has been a soldier before. Now, don't think it is in the interest of the soldier to take power. No. The way we are going now, I would say Akufado is walking us into the military. How so? Because because what we cannot rely. And mind you, the police is a service. It's not a force. They are not supposed to use fighter uh, fighter weapons. The police can do what it could. They can never stand the population. Mm. And when we go beyond that. We just walk into the hands of the ministry. So, Doc, so why, why, caution, Doc, why not the IGP, but you put the responsibility at, at the doorstep or at the, at the foot of the president? Certainly. It's the president is responsible for whatever happens in this country. And unfortunately, when he's speaking about this particular election, he speaks about peaceful elections. I have to say this election to be peaceful. It's not going to be peaceful. The way things are going on, this election will not be peaceful. And we must get that clear. There are elders in this country. There are chiefs in this country. We have religious bodies in this country. They are all quiet. And they will sit down and all of a sudden, we shall probably have to go back 40 years, 50 years back. If that is what we want, then mm, let's, I see. let's all keep quiet. And, and, Doc, just before we let you go, you also talk directly to the Electoral Commission. Uh, but I, I, I want to hear your assessment so far from the special voting exercise, uh, events leading up to that. Uh, talk to us about what steps you expect the Electoral Commission to take going forward. Look. I just saw on your screen burning of defective papers. I mean, when an electoral commissioner behaves this way, she's simply incompetent. That's what it means. You see, how can electoral papers be defective? This is not the first time. This is, I think, the third time that they, 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 they have been burning this thing. Now, you ask yourself, the political parties themselves, how do they look at that? That will tell you that there's a lot going wrong mm. in 
the Electoral Commission itself. And I have said time and again that Jim Mensah has to be careful mm. before he walks this country into a disaster. What do you because think could be wrong at the Electoral Commission? And we have some few days to go to an election. And we are seeing already some printed papers. Mm. I mean, I mean and, and, and the police is doing nothing. You know? I, I really can't understand. I see. Doc, you made mention. Listen, we have the we have the election only uh, three days and, and some hours away, and then you mentioned that given what you have seen, the conduct of the electoral commission so far, it would appear there is something clearly wrong there. I want to understand from you what do you see from where you sit. No, certainly, you can see that she is not her own self. Look, we have some of us have been in this thing for close to fifty years. We came. Some some of my colleagues they are there including Akufuado, to fight military regimes. So we know what it means when we, we are getting closer to it. Akufuado wants to hand this country over to the military. Mm, I and see. if we are not careful, it will happen. Well, By the way of the behavior, I mean, a political party should not in any way at all try to deceive the populace. If you know you have done a good job, just wait for the election day, and you'll be voting. Indeed, Doc. And I'm afraid we'll have to. to. I'm afraid we'll have to end our conversation here. But